The tragedy of the anime version of Hakuoki is the lack of exploration of what was explored in the visual novels. You see, in the visual novels we are shown so much more about our beloved series. Characters that have an affiliation with the Shinsengumi along with characters who have a deep bond with members of the Shinsengumi. These characters have their own backstory and motives that weaves itself into the larger plot. In addition, the lack of exploration on the Furies and the usage of the Water of Life. The one positive comment I will say about the Water of Life is how there were various renditions created for it. It. The side effects, however, were not as detrimental and destructive as I would have liked them to be. What I will say is I wish there was far more of an emphasis put on the character's backstory. There has been so much I have learned playing the visual novel and interacting with fans who have vast knowledge on the series. For example, Suji's trauma is much more complicated than what the anime has depicted. His relationship with Kondo and why he cherishes him so much is explained far better in the visual novel than in the anime. As for Suji's death, it is much different in the visual novel than it is in the anime. Hejikata I came to find out was going through a lot of mental issues for many years and these were demons which haunted him for a long time. I watched the anime two times and have seen the movie several times. I was not even aware of this fact. I knew a season two rolled around his sadness, depression, and gloom was apparent, but the understanding that this stems back for years was not something I was aware of. The clans involved in the series also have their own richness which could have easily added more complexity and novelty for the anime had they taken a deep dive into them. Where the anime for Hakuoki went wrong I believe was for these reasons. Just imagine if these changes were made, how different would your impression on the anime be? How many more wonderful moments we would have gotten? And how certain characters would have gotten justice in their story arc? And finally, the romantic moments and meaningful interactions Chizuru would have with the other characters. One of the treats of Hakuoki for me was the six-part OVA. Each episode had a specific character from the main cast spend time with Chizuru. Imagine moments instead of episodes scattered across a two-season anime. In my eyes, this would be the icing on top. This is the video for today, I hope you enjoyed it and feel free to comment your thoughts on what you think Hakuoki could have been like. If you are interested feel free to subscribe to my channel and Discord server which is linked below and thank you for watching and have a great day.